Hello everybody, it is Brooke from The Junk Parlor and I am excited to share with you today my haul. My oldest is up at Iowa State, which is about a 30 minute drive north of here. So I have been trying to go visit him once a month, take him out to lunch after his class. But I am very strategic in what I do and I want to make good use of my time. So of course, while I am driving up to Ames, I also go sourcing for vintage. I have been picking Wednesdays to go up so that I can go to the Iowa State Surplus Store. If you haven't seen me shop the Iowa State Surplus Store, I will link that video for you. I also had something that I needed to pick up and that was even more north in Jewel, Iowa. But I wanted to go pick it up and I wanted to go shop Brenda's store. Her business is JB Knacker and she has kind of teamed up with her daughter that has gin and tarnish. So the shop is actually called Gin and Tarnish in Jewel. And I have also shopped that on my YouTube channel. So I will link that as well. So it was a little bit of a job to figure out where I was going to go and how long I would have because on this particular Wednesday, my oldest last class for the day was canceled. And so that kind of changed our normal routine for a Wednesday because then he had to go to work earlier as well. I drove up, I went to Iowa State Surplus and every time I go, I look on their Facebook page slash website to kind of see what items there are because honestly up until this time this trip i really hadn't bought anything maybe spent five dollars i looked i was so disappointed because they had had probably i don't know 10 20 dress forms probably three weeks prior and again, I only go once a month. And I don't even look because I don't wanna be disappointed that I'm missing out on something. But in that Iowa State video that I'm sharing, I give you tips and tricks that my friend Margaret shared with me, who I just met at my very, very first trip to the Iowa State Surplus Store. I was hopeful that maybe there were some dress forms left. But if there were dress forms left, that meant that either one, they weren't very good, or two, they were really expensive, right? Seemed logical. So when I got there, I was so, so, so ecstatic that they still had four left. Now, the four all have a little bit of wear and tear, but probably the other ones did too. And they are gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous. I love them. I'm so excited. I have nowhere to put them because I don't have a booth and they're not really the best thing to ship. Although I could totally break them down and ship them. But anyway, I still am just gonna have four dress forms hanging out in the lower level. So after the Iowa State Surplus Store, my next immediate need was to go to JB Knacker and pick up my item. So I go up there and I got this green suitcase, which is also covered in things I got at Iowa State Surplus. So we will see if I can not drop all of this. So the very first trip I made to the Surplus Store, I was looking for little beakers and little containers like this. And guess what? This time they actually had some, and this is the first time that they have. So I left some, I didn't take all of them, but I grabbed quite a few because 
they haven't had them when I've been there so far. I think these would be good for propagating. You could put your collection of dice in there, buttons in there, use them as a vase for feathers or hat pins or anything and everything. I love them. But what I bought off of Brenda was this green suitcase. So it is not exactly the color and style not style, it's the shape, but maybe not the style of the suitcase that I thought it was in her Instagram stories, but that's okay. I know being a dealer that sometimes photos, videos, even if you don't put a filter on them or edit them in any way, that they can sometimes look different, but the price was right. And so I grabbed it. I haven't even tried to see if it mixes in well with my other green suitcases, but it is the perfect size and shape. I'm wanting to put them above my mudroom lockers. I had some metal bread tins there, but bread tins in your locker, maybe not make a lot of sense even though they were the right size. And then I sold one that I had there. And so now I'm just going back to my original idea of doing some green suitcases stacked. And then a couple blocks down the way is Kara's shop. My father's daughter's vintage, which I always get tongue tied and she has a squirrel mascot, Boo Boo, Bobo. <laughs> And I always say it wrong. My memory is terrible. I cannot remember. So I mentioned to Kara that I was going to be at Brenda's. Didn't know the time schedule and how everything was going to work out because I had to meet my oldest for lunch and blah, blah, blah. So Kara said she was going to be there working anyway. So it worked out well. I got to look at her new store, which is beautiful. Definitely want to go see it. And there are a lot of other cute shops in Jewel, Iowa. So it is definitely worth a trip. I think all of them are open like on a Friday, Saturday, maybe Sunday, or it's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So just make sure you check their hours so that you can hit them up when they're all open. They were just opening special for me because I contacted them. So I didn't even get to visit the other shops and I wouldn't have had time on this particular day anyway. From Kara, I did grab a couple of things. I got a Bible, which you know I love stacking them. The cover is literally ripped off and just laying here in pieces. And then I don't know what it is about this brush, but I'd seen it in her shop another time I was there and I hemmed, hawed and debated on it. And then this time I got it. So I love it, love it, love it. It's super cute, unique. Um, don't know if that's a repurposed handle or what the situation is, but I liked it. Got a big beaker from the surplus store too. What I ended up doing with the beaker is just put it here in my windowsill. I had used a plastic recyclable container to plant. I think this is like an inch plant. And then I just went ahead and put it in the beaker because I don't know if you can see, but it's a very murky. There's like dots stuck on it and I could not could not get that to come off. So I would say whatever chemicals or science lab stuff they used made it permanent, but we're using it anyway. Next up, I went out to lunch with my oldest. It's a great chance for us to sit and talk. We maybe are not the best communicators. <laughs> and so something about eating and talking that way is a little bit less threatening so I can pull some information out of my son and so we know what's going on in his life. But he is doing really well and he ha is having like his third interview for an internship. So fingers crossed he knocks it out of the ballpark and gets that internship. 
After eating with my oldest, I went to Overflow. So I've talked about Overflow before. They have a location that's clothes and the, a location that's household and hard goods. So of course I went to the hard goods store. I did end up buying a couple things. I've made a lot of trips there and left with absolutely nothing. But this time I came home with a, I think it's called a take down rifle or shotgun case and it is leather but it is definitely worn it's soft and I cannot find a maker's mark anywhere when I was looking online just to see kind of what this thing was called um, some of the maker's marks or tags were on this little divider. Well, this one doesn't pull out, so I'm assuming it's not on the other end, but I have no idea. Um, if it's a particular brand, there is a number here on this piece that says SS30. I have no idea what that would mean, but I loved it. I have been really into hunting and fishing and cabiny stuff lake stuff but not like coastal beach lake stuff i don't know has to be the right color and patina but i love this gun case and actually i picked it up and a guy immediately was immediately was like where did you find that i'm like it was just leaning over here <laughs> it was kind of in a hidden spot and he's like oh and he was asking me about the maker's mark and he's like oh you got a good deal on that um I thought it was priced high for the thrift store, but these do go for a decent amount. I like it just for looks. I mean, obviously I wouldn't be using it, but I think it would be fun to style with, especially when you see my epic estate sale haul or my most recent epic estate sale. Isn't every good estate sale haul an epic one until the next epic one? Okay, I had these little copper measuring cup setting on this green recipe index card holder. I got this at the state surplus um, store as well. You know I love green. And then these little guys I got at Collectomania. They are actually measuring cups. So it says like one cup on the bottom and Korea, I think. Yeah, Korea. But I would never use them. I don't even know what you'd use them for. The only thing I could think of is like a shot glass or mixing drinks or something, but look how good they look. So super excited to display with those. Collectomania, I got this Santa. He is so good. Like, I think he's made out of a sock and I'm sorry, my lighting is not the best, but I think he's made out of a sock and then hand stitched He's got these little bells. He's got a felt. Um, no, it's not felt. Yeah, it is some kind of felt. A belt. I mean, you can tell on his hands that it's some kind of like sock, sock material. I just loved him. He's a handmade, but he's a good handmade. And again, my memory is terrible, but I think I got this at Collectomania too. Yes, I did because it was actually in the same booth. The complete Christmas book. I mean, how perfect is that? Now, I can't say that I like the paper label. I personally would take it off because look, it's a red and green hardback book and it has the Christmas info on the spine. So I would trash that paper thing or put it in a junk journal or something. Most of the slate boards that I have are family ones. So I kind of keep lining them up and just making a collection. But this one was a good price. It's not broken. So I grabbed it. And really, it's probably one of the bigger like individual slates that I've had. You know, every week I go to Thrifty Flea. This week, this was all that I got off of him, but it is a very unique thermos, universal vacuum bottle, and I just like the look of it. It would be good for fall, good for Christmas, good for camping. 
A lot of times I will pop into St. Vincent de Paul down by the hospital. I think it's Sixth Street. I do put all the places I visit each week, even if I don't buy anything, in the description box below if you want to check that out. And I stopped by there this week and check out the suitcase. Now, it is absolutely covered in cat or dog hair, but nothing a lint roller can't get out. The inside really looked fine. And I wasn't sure if it was old or not, but it has the grasshopper label on it. And upon a little research, it was definitely worth purchasing. I mean, doesn't it just scream Christmas to you? Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I hope you are already a subscriber, but if not, be sure to click that subscribe button and leave me a comment down below telling me what you liked out of this haul. Otherwise, I will see you next week.